Welcome back to Let's Play Zelda's Butt. Alright, so let's keep going and try to find level 3. So we got the big wallet, now we just have to get out of uh, Campanua Valley. And actually, there was one place we could go to in the main overworld. We just have to go get there. Uh, I still don't know if any of these places have any significance or not. Hey, I'm back here. Why is that? Must be some, uh, side warp action going on. But what I really want is to get out of here! Stupid flowers. Link doesn't like the pollen! Oh, come on, Link. Come on, what are you doing? All right, last time we got the big wallet, so money shouldn't be a problem anymore. At least collecting money shouldn't be. And the way out of here is right here, I believe. Well, there's the other hub place over... <coughs> over this way, I think, so maybe we should check that out first. I almost forgot about that. And all the way over here. At the top left corner! Give me some money! No! Yeah, I never went in here, did I? Oh yeah, I did. And we can get across. Well, either way, we can get across. It's fine. Does this just go back to where I was before? I don't know. Let's leave those guys alone for now. And, uh, more snakes. Get that money. Too bad there's still no sword beam. Okay, where am I now? Okay, I'm back out here, I guess. And... Oh yeah, that's where I came in last time, isn't it? Alright. Fair enough. And down here is nothing. <clears throat> Actually, no. I was gonna see what that bridge led to, but you know what? I'd rather see what that place goes to over here. That we need the ladder for. Because it's just right up here, I believe. Or maybe one more screen up. So let's see what we get! Or get two. Maybe this leads to level three, I don't know. There's Casito Town, I think. Or we can get our final heart piece needed for heart container number eight. Alright, we have a full row of hearts now. Now if I get ambushed by a bunch of red whiz robes, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. I'll have... still only have, uh... one hit to take from their beams, but that's okay. Alright, now let's see what's through the rest of this cave here. Through the rest of this hub. And let's get our boomerang back out. So... Okay, I guess I can't see which way it came from. Come here, fairy. Did I come from this way, going on the way out? I don't quite remember. Ow. Stop it. Pretty sure this was the way I came from at the start of this episode. Yes, it is! Alright, let's see what's across here. And there's a raft path, which we can't use. Let's see, can we burn any of these? No! <clears throat> and we are down here now. Alright, new part of the overworld. New part of Hyrule. And another raft path. I think we probably will be getting the raft pretty soon. At least I hope so. Alright, you pee hat. Or... Hats. Levers aren't any problem now. 
Wow, big snail. What are we supposed to do here? Bomb it! No. Hookshot it! No! Give it to me! No! Burn it! No! Said no a little too quickly on the burning it, but whatever. Pretty sure that burning it wouldn't do anything. Alrighty, let's see what we have up here. And I'm guessing we burn this bush. Another cave! Wait a minute. How? How would there be a long cave here? I mean, we're really high on top of the mountain, so... I don't know! Maybe it's just, like, the cave's a lot bigger on the inside than it looks on the outside? Or maybe it's like a lot of those Zelda games where, you know, uh... The outside's just really, really small for some reason, but the inside is huge! Or maybe the, uh, staircase that we went in through was really, really, really deep! Level 3, Tal Tal Mountains, awesome! <coughs> and I guess we need the ladder there. And we can hookshot over there, but let's see what's over here first. More areas we need to hookshot. Oh, Gorius. Oh no. Well, at least if we use bombs, these guys give them in spades. Yes, the red Gorias will give you the bombs, not the blue ones. It's like it's weird in the original Le Legend of Zelda. Uh, the blue overworld enemies, except for maybe the Leavers, will give you bombs, and then... In general, the red enemies in the levels will give you bombs, not the blue ones. And that's, of course, assuming that, uh... What do you call them, uh... Uh, black moblins are blue. So they're technically black, I suppose. I guess we need to use the whistle here. That, uh, tree formation looks kind of like a music note. Uh, I guess we can't use the ladder and hookshot over and cheat! Oh well. <clears throat> Probably use the hookshot here to get over there, but let's see what's down here first. More Gorias! Ow. Stop it. These guys just really have to watch out for their boomerangs, because they'll do one heart of damage. Running into them themselves will do half a heart, so... If you have to take a hit... Make sure you run into them, not their boomerangs. And of course, the boomerang is much easier to use than the hookshot. And we get the compass. Alright, it'll be more useful to have the map right now, but what are you gonna do? At least we have the substream map. Let's see what's over here. A uh, locked door. Right. Okay, so forget there. Yeah, there's nothing to do over there, so let's just go back. Ah, oh, these idiots are back. Boo. Boo, heart. Yay. Alright, let's hook shot hook shot over to the right part of this map now. I like having overworld-type levels, it's really nice, you know? Why does everything have to be inside a cave, or a temple, or things like that? It's like we have a bombable rock there. Ow! Stupid Link! Uh-oh, scary, it's dark in here! No! Falling rocks, oh no! Ow. Well, there's no way I was gonna avoid that one. Oh well. That's kind of an obvious heart piece. At least compared to that barrel I burned in that one place, I think Moblin City. That one wasn't that obvious, because how are you supposed to know to burn a barrel? Although that screen was kind of distinct looking, so it looked like there may have been something there. Anyway. Let's just keep going. Oh, and by the way, if I didn't mention it before, I'm using... Uh, Zelda Classic Player 2.1... 2.10.2 to play this. 
which I've used for all my other Zelda classic Let's Plays. I just prefer it over 210 for some reason. Wow, I am almost dead. <laughs> Isn't this where I came from? Huh. Okay, fair enough. Whoa. But I didn't get anything over here. I need to find a key or something. Don't I? <laughs> Maybe I should be a little bit more prudent in my search. Okay. Nothing over there. Was there anything over here? Maybe I need to burn this or something? I don't know. Aha! And there's our key. And let's just go back to the locked door. Hopefully without dying. Ow. Okay, that's better. And um, that's much better. Now I can withstand two boomerang hits. Maybe I'll get some more hearts here. Ow. That's okay. Like I said, if you're gonna take damage, make sure you hit them, not their boomerangs. Linky, what are you doing? Hook shot over, please. This is where the locked door is, I believe. Yes. I like having the boomerang out, but I'm too lazy to hit L on my control pad and then... Or sorry, R on my control pad and then L to switch back to the hookshot. Just takes too much time, man. And there's a cave down there. wonder how we're supposed to get over there. Uh, let's try to find a better way to kill these guys. Let's get this guy over here, too. There we go. Some more bombs. Uh huh. Pretty sure there's there aren't two secrets here. Yeah, it'd be kind of hard to do like that. What the hell? Oh, dig dog kids. Ooh. Yeah, be careful of these guys. They will do two hearts of damage to you. supposed to happen? Oh, I guess it's a dark room. Alright, fair enough. And there was a ringleader! I thought it might have been like a screen 80 bug or something, but no, nah, of course not. Sometimes that happens, though. You know, no matter how, how hard you, uh, try to test your quest out. There's always bugs that can persist, you know? So far, this quest is really good. And can I get over here? No. Can't hook shot across, I'm pretty sure. Maybe we have to burn this bush. No. Huh. And what am I supposed to do here? Maybe hook shot up? There we go. Oh crap, Gleok! It's only got one head, so no problem. Although, pff, the controller I'm using is kinda gonky on the, on the uh, joystick here. I'm using an Xbox 360 controller. And we got the whistle, hooray! So, if you see me walking around kind of funny, that's why. And, uh... Huh, how do I get back? <laughs> Como getty backy. Was I supposed to do that? <laughs> uh... Do I play it somewhere? Can I play it here? Ha! And we get the map too, awesome. 
make sure I got the heart first because uh, sometimes when you pick up items, if it goes doo 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 like that, the items on the screen will disappear like rupees or hearts that were dropped by enemies. Ow! Die! Alright, I'm getting pretty good on health again. That's nice. Aw, oh, come on! You're supposed to give me some hearts, dude. And... how am I supposed to get... there? Oh, I see. That's... an area I didn't visit yet. And let's get our uh, candle back out so we can see through this room. That's kind of a weird transition. It's like a change from fast scrolling to slow scrolling. Yeah, if you ever design a quest in Zelda Classic, please, please, please enable uh, fast screen scrolling. If you don't, it's just so annoying. It takes so long to change between screens. And how the hell do I get down there? Hookshot, probably. It's just weird having uh, trees as hookshot points, because you never remember that you can hookshot onto them, but you can, so... Welcome! Or maybe not. So it's just a hint to use the, uh, the whistle on the Dig Dogger. Which, in this case, the Dig Dogger will be a giant butterfly. Ow. Saw it coming, but I didn't move out of the way. So I get what I deserve for my recklessness. But I get a heart back, yay, and then I lose half heart, and then I get another heart back, yay, so I netted half heart. Hooray! Although I don't remember if I took any damage before that, but whatever. I'm at six hearts, and that's enough for now. Let's see if I can get more from these guys. They're usually pretty good about giving health and bombs and stuff like that. Yeah, and another thing about the, uh is here, is they can hit you when they throw the boomerang at you, but when it's coming back on the backswing, you are immune to it. And also, when you're throwing up the hookshot like this, you are uh, in invincible from any attacks. So. Yeah, like, there, I think. I think he just threw his boomerang right through me, and I don't think I'm going the right way, am I? Don't believe I want to be going there. Do I want to be going back towards the start? That is the question. I'm guessing no. Absolutely not. Um. Actually, I think I do want to go this way. And then head up or down, maybe? Yeah, I want to go in the middle here. That's right. And go up here, and I think I can use the whistle here. Yes. Ow. Damn it. Where did you guys come from? There we go. More keys. And I already got a piece of heart from this level, so I think that might be the only one. I don't know if there's, like, one piece of heart per level or something like that, but... Might be the case. And I think we are almost done with this level. Boss time! Do this the fun way, or the easy way. I think I was supposed to do, uh, boomerang first. Oh well, it worked. Ow! Stop it! Yay! Heart container! Alright, we're up to nine now. And we got the third Triforce piece! Hooray! That level wasn't too hard. Alright, so we got the whistle, not the raft like I was hoping. Oh well. That's fine with me. Wait, 
did I get a... Yeah, I did get a heart piece in there. Uh, was there anything else I wanted to explore around here? I don't think so. Maybe I have to use the whistle here? Wake this guy up? No! I guess not. Alright, up to 300 rupees, nice. Now there's that one area, I forget where it was, where you could use the whistle. Is it up here, maybe? Uh, no. Oh yeah, right there. Maybe we can get into Casta Town now. Uh, let's just go through the hub world then, I guess. Oh, I want that raft, but actually I kind of don't because that'll open up so many places we can explore. So many places. Die. And up here was way back to where we started. And wasn't this the way to new whatever? Campanula Valley. Uh, maybe this way will be the fastest. Ah. Die. Thank you. And then just leave out here, maybe? I think that should do. And then we can go over to towards Kesto Town. This way. Although I don't know if this will actually lead to Kesto Town. It probably leads somewhere we need to go. I'm just guessing. Alright, Town of Kesto. Can we go in any of these houses? Do 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 do. So is this old Casto? Before it was destroyed? Have you heard the legend of the mermaid? No, it is said that a woman waited for her love to come back from a voyage, but he never made it back. The woman stayed at a pier all of her life, waiting for her love to come back, but he never did. She then turned into a mermaid and swims all over the world watching for him. It is said that he was a musician, but I don't know what kind. He was a butt musician. He played farts. He was a flatulist, that's what he was. Let's play a money-making game, okay. Boo. I lost. Lost my shirt. And there's a mermaid. I guess we have to play music from there. And, uh... Looks like someone doesn't want people coming into their house. Oh well. Yay! Level 4 already? Huh. Probably want to explore the rest of Casto Town first. Who lives there? That's suspicious. That well looks really cool. But it's... I don't know. Flowers. Okay, I'm chopping the flowers. That's what I'm doing. What do we have in here? This looks like a, uh... But, first I must eat something. Yay! Gimme slice attack! Awesome, awesome, I love slash. Hello, yes! Swing your sword, that's it! Die, dummy! Yeah, I think if you're gonna do that in a quest, like... Learn the slash ability, it should either be something like, you know... Just swing your sword, you dummy, or else have it the opposite way, like, you know, ten years later you learn to swing your sword. The Great Library. Let's see. Wow, it's a big-ass library. Books strewn all over the place. Someone needs to clean that up. No. 
I got a helpful hint for you. Shut up! What are you doing? Extorting... Why are you guys extorting money from me in a library? I mean, shouldn't the librarians kick you out for doing that? You can't do that in the library. You need the Triforce to reach Ganon's Flying Island. Please find all the pieces and bring them here. But yeah, like, you can't do that in the library. Like, you know, you could sit in front of a shelf or something and then say, like, Oh, if you want knowledge of these books, pay me 50 bucks and I'll tell you. Or maybe I'll let you borrow some of these books. I don't know. This is a special book. It will let your magic wand create fire. Might need that later, but I don't have the magic wand anyway, so... I'm not gonna buy it. And I don't have the money either, so... Double no for now. Oh yeah, I love Slash. Some people say it's useless, but it is not. It's definitely not, especially when you're fighting Dark Nuts. It's very, very, very useful against Dark Nuts. Like, you can just basically... If you're at the bottom of the screen like this, just look up and then go like that, and if they walk right into you, you'll hit them a few times. Take some damage, but they usually drop parts and stuff like that. Buy something. Got meat, bottle, and a map of the city. Huh. Maybe I'll buy all of it. <laughs> wow, real telling map there. Well, it was only five rupees, so whatever. Okay, I'll buy bottle. Which is not a potion, that's good. But I'll probably need it for a potion shop. Same as the letter in the original Legend of Zelda. Welcome to my grocery store, buy something! I also like the text box here, that looks really nice. And I'll buy another meat just in case I need it later. Maybe I won't, but who knows. And it looks like here's the potion shop. So yeah, we need the bottle for here. Let's see, what can we buy? Just potions? Eh, why not buy a red potion? Who knows? For some reason, I'm incredibly, incredibly stingy with my potions, so... I usually don't use them that much. Even if I have them. We had to close the gate to the city with magic. Sorry about leaving you out. Oops, our bad. Well, you know what? I'm gonna slice your neck, so... You won't do that in the future! Hopefully you learn your lesson, ma'am. So have I been everywhere here? Yes, I have. So I guess there's really nothing left to do but to go to level 4 and... I don't know, maybe do a few minutes there? End the episode off? Why not? Don't think I'll finish the level in two minutes, but... Might as well go in with a little head start for next time. Alright, so level 4. Mermaid's Dwelling. Ooh, this level looks cool. It's another uh, little level design thing I like. Having a passage that you can't reach, but you know you'll go there later. Like, how do I get over there? I'll show you how useful Slash is here. There you go, and there you go. So you can just go like this, too. Just hit them like that and that. Slash is very, very, very useful. Love it. And we got a map, but I will need a key. Donde esta el clay? Chiave. Is Chiave Span... Well, I guess we can get over there. Is Chiave Spanish or Italian? I forget. Ooh, level 2 ropes. Alright, let's uh, maybe check the right path and maybe end this off. Unless the right path goes a lot of places. Oh, there is a raft path there. Oh no. Don't have the raft, but I guess we'll be getting it here! Alright, so a lot of exploration soon. Stupid ropes. Why aren't you giving me money? Even though you're level 2 ropes, you should still be giving me money! Okay, looks like we bombed there. Hello, Mr. Darknut. Would you like to die now? The only thing is, you can't really attack Darknuts very well from above. So you have to get, a you have to get below them with Slash, so... That's the only caveat to the slash ability there. So, I guess that will be about it for this episode of Let's Play Zelda's Butt. Is there anything up here? Ah, we'll check it last. Check it out next time. So, 
you know what, I'll just end it off right here at the entrance, and I will see you next time in the next episode, so bye.